let's talk about Expendables 4. So Expendables 4, for those who don't know, uh, is about uh, Jason Statham has to now, along with Megan Fox, has to now helm the Expendables team uh, after something happens to Stallone's character, Barney, and now it's like, okay, new team, new faces, let's do this thing. 50 Cent is also in this film. And yeah, and Andy Garcia is sort of now the new Mr. Church type character. And you wanna what? This film is terrible, and there's a reason why I waited for this Blu-ray to drop to $20. Yeah, like I I'm not gonna try to hide it. I don't like this film. Um, I think that it has logical inconsistencies, bad CGI, and look, I am usually the kind of guy who will try to be like, look, the, the studios are usually the reason why CGI nowadays looks so bad, but I feel like there's just a certain level now. Once again, I'm not blaming the CGI teams, the, the studios who work on the CGI, I'm blaming the studio Lionsgate themselves, but I feel like there's just a certain level of incompetence to the CGI looking bad that is just absolutely unforgivable. And yeah, like, <clears throat> bad CGI, bad just logic in this film. Like, that's not how planes work. That's not how bullets work. That's not how P works, weirdly enough. Uh, did I say airplanes? That's not how airplanes work. Like, it's just genuinely a cluster bleep of a film. And I just genuinely feel bad for all parties involved because this is not a good movie. And unfortunately, some of the actors who are pretty good in the previous films are being dragged down by, I think, an inferior script. And unfortunately, I think the director is also slightly to blame. Uh, in the third film, or in the third film, which is a movie I actually quite enjoy, um, this mo movie, um, they talk about in the special features that the director isn't necessarily used to a project like this, so he tried to lean on his uh, stunt team, on his actors, on his second direct, on his second unit director, to help pick up the slack, and I think that created actually a pretty good movie that was panned by critics at the time because it just was a rated R movie, obviously, that got turned into PG-13, but this is actually a pretty good movie. This has no such luck. It seemed to, it seems to think, oh, we wanted these films to be rated R because of language, but no, it's not that. We want them to be rated R because these are supposed to be 80s throwbacks, and Megan Fox, I think it's as clear as day, is not a good actress. She had one good role, which was in the 2014 Ninja Turtles film, but other than that, not good. And that is a little sad to say, but hey, you could always do something else, Megan Fox. That being said, do not like this film, do not recommend this film, do not waste your 20 bucks on it. Now, these three films, check them out, they're pretty good. Um, but remember that God made you special. He loves you very much. I hope you're having a very lovely day. And as always, God bless you all.